Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm going to be making a one-pot stovetop bacon lasagna. I recently found this recipe in a magazine. It was the Real Simple magazine. I've got the recipe linked below. They do have it online. To get started, all I'm doing is chopping up about six pieces of bacon into one inch pieces, and I'm gonna cook those in this skillet at about medium high heat. Be sure to use a large deep skillet that can go from the stovetop into the oven. To my cooked bacon, I'm gonna add a large onion that has been thinly sliced. I'm gonna cook this five to seven minutes just until the onions are pretty soft and I'm gonna stir it pretty frequently. Now that my onions are soft, I'm gonna add in, it calls for three cloves of garlic, but if you've been around with my channel for a while, then you know that we usually do a good bit more garlic. So this was more like five cloves of garlic that I've chopped up. Just going to stir this in for about a minute. And I'm also adding a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper and a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm just adding in three tablespoons of tomato paste. You wanna add it in and then stir it around until everything is good and coated. You want to be sure to have the oven ready lasagna noodles, the kind that you do not have to boil. You're going to take these, about eight ounces of them, and you're going to break them into large pieces all over the onion mixture. Right on top of the noodles, we're going to add a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And two cups of chicken stock. I'm adding in some fresh basil that has been chopped into large pieces. And you wanna be sure not to stir this mixture, even though it is tempting. Cover it and turn it up to high and bring it to a boil. And once it starts to boil, then you can reduce the heat to low and let it simmer, still covered, for about 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, you want to remove the cover and gently stir it just to make sure none of the noodles are sticking all together. And then you're just going to let it simmer uncovered for another five to seven minutes just so that the sauce will thicken up just a bit. While that continues to simmer, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my oven to the broil setting. I'm only doing 350 degrees. Because of the pan that I have, I can't go above that temperature. Now it's time to add some good cheese. I've got whole milk ricotta cheese. I'm gonna add about a half a cup. And you're just going to add it in dollops all over the pan. Lastly, I'm adding about four ounces of the Italian four cheese shredded cheese. Now this is going to go under the broiler for three to five minutes just until that cheese has melted and is starting to brown a bit. Like I mentioned, I can't go above 350 degrees, so it takes about five to seven minutes for mine. We are gonna be serving this with a salad with my favorite salad dressing, which is the Olive Garden Italian salad dressing. just going to top this off with a little more fresh basil and then it's going to be time to eat and of course if you've been around for a while you're expecting a taste test and you're going to get one. The three of us in this house really enjoyed this and gave it a thumbs up. 
It was so incredibly tasty. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family and hit that red subscribe button below. I do videos about different recipes all of the time and I'd love to have you here. Thanks y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye.